This video production is brought to you by Sky, who have just released their latest autumn winter range, The Martian Dreams. Mankind dreams of going to Mars. They call it the next great frontier in space exploration and the race is on. Who doesn't love a good race? We sure do. To score 15% off anything at Sky, use the code SWEAT15. You can find the link in the description of this video. Thanks for having me at your workout here in Fontremont. How's the camp been going so far? Yeah, it's been good. I've not been training that long uh, after a two-week rest period in the summer. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been good. Training with the group, doing some base work. Um, Who have you got here training with you? Uh, of course, Jimmy. Uh, I've been training with Jimmy since last year in November. Okay. It's been a step up for me because I always used to be the fastest one in the group and now I'm not anymore. <laughs> but it's uh, it's been good. Yeah. We also have Valentin here. Yes. He's also with my group. Um, preparing European cross. So Today we'll have kind of a cross country workout. So it's going to be fun. Yeah, what's the, uh, what's the workout plan? Uh, it's 1k. 2k, 2k, 1k, 2k, 1k. Pretty long one. Um, I think we'll start not too fast and then like a bit progressive. Build into it. Yes. Build into it. Yeah. Okay. And so we're at Fontremo. We're actually a little bit outside of Fontremo here. Uh, yeah. And where you're staying at Fontremo is about 1,800 meters elevation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The great. elevation here is a bit lower. What are we at here? Uh, this is uh, 1,500, I think. Okay. 1,550. So do you still have to adjust your pace a little bit here, or? Um, yeah, I feel usually when I travel down from 1800 to 1500, I don't notice much difference. Yeah. But it's just the most flat here. There's no hills. Yeah. Well, there is hills, but not that much. Yeah. So it's better for uh, like tempo stuff. Okay. Perfect. Okay, Mike, you have a you have a couple of races coming up, but one in the near future. We were talking about it just before. Yeah. It's a 15k event. Yeah. Um, when is that, and how do you uh, how do you hope to go there? Um, it's called Save Overload, so it's um, 20th of November in my hometown in Nijmegen, in the Netherlands. Um, for me it's quite a big race because I grew up doing like the, the kids run there. Yeah. I, I believe I won the kids run five times. Then I moved up to the, the night race before, yeah. it's like 7k, yeah. won that one five times. And now I'm moving up to the 15k. Nice. And I remember back in the day I said, when I make my debut on this race, I want to run below one hour yes. on 15k, and now the goal is to run a national record, okay. <laughs> which is uh, 43.12. So I've moved up quite a bit from that's sub a, sub one hour. That's a big shift. Yes. Yeah. 43.12 would be going through 10k in about 28.5. Yeah, 28.40, I think. Yes. But yeah, like I just said to you, um, the last 5k is quite downhill. Yes. So it's really a nice race to run progressively and yep. like close down fast the last 5k and for me it's just a, yeah, a good test see where I'm at for sure and Joshua Chip the guy holds the world record what is yeah that? I think it's like 40 something oh, it's so quick mm. I remember watching uh, I think he went through 5k in like 13 20 yeah I was like what the fuck I think his 10k was uh, 26 miles yeah it's, 27 very low. it's crazy uh, oh. So Mike, what, uh, what shoes will you go with your workout like this? This is a big cross country course? Yeah, it's, it's a bit hard. I would, I would actually want to put on spikes, but okay. yeah, for, for, such, for such a long workout it's not great. So yeah, yeah. I took today a uh, streak fly yep. and the vapor flies. But I think because it's 9k of uh, program, I think this is a bit too uh, direct. So I think I'll go with the vapor flies. But it's, it's a, as you can see, it's like that's a new, interesting colorway. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a new, it's a new pair. Yeah, okay. I need to even take the stickers off. <laughs> okay. So uh, I don't know how that will go, but that should be alright. Yeah, okay. And what's the shoe that you would like warm up and do like easy runs with? Uh, I really, 
Yeah, I really like the Pegasus. Yes. Um, I think I've oh, run with them since the start of my running, so like yeah. for 15 years maybe. I feel like most Nike athletes are uh, Pegasus fans. Right? Yeah, but yeah. the weird thing is, I was never like I'm with Nike now, but back in the day, I never thought I could reach that level to yes. be sponsored. I just like the Pegasus anyway. So. Okay. Okay. Do you I have any other shoes that you put into the rotation in the training? Okay. Yeah, I'm changing uh, pretty much between shoes because I believe that you need to have a lot of shoes to change between uh, to prevent injuries. Um, I think since I've been doing it, I've gotten a lot less injuries and like less stiff calves. So I use uh, the Zoom Fly, Nike Zoom Fly for some uh, easy runs, the Turbo. Yeah, I, I use them all basically, but I just, uh, just change them out. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll go check to see what Jimmy's, uh, Jimmy's using today. He's also Nike, yeah, so well. I think he's using the same. Okay, okay. He's, uh, he's a big fan of the Vapor Fly. Yeah, okay. So Jimmy, you are uh, you will do the workouts with these guys as well. What is the uh, shoes that you will wear in this? Uh, this shoes is Vaporfly. Vaporfly, yes. You, you know yeah. Vaporfly because it's the best uh, shoes. Best shoe? Yeah. It's your favorite? For the run, yeah, it's my favorite shoes, yes. Yeah, of course. Okay. And soon you have some races, uh, Valencia 10K? Uh, yeah, normally I do, uh, I do Valencia 10K. Uh, because I don't, uh, I don't do uh, European cross country, no. okay. so I train uh, easy for uh, for the moment. Yes. Uh, I stand in for Rome for three weeks, just uh, train easy with Mikey, uh, Valentin. Mm -hmm. is, uh, is, uh, is, is, is the best uh, for me uh, yes. for the moment. Okay, perfect. And after the Valencia 10K, uh, maybe uh, you will do another race? Or? Yeah, maybe uh, before Valencia I do a 5K yep. uh, in Barcelona, in, uh, in uh, Nice, in uh, Bolzano. I don't know where is, uh, I go. But uh, after, uh, after 10K in Valencia, I uh, I go maybe in uh, Rack in Dubai. Rack. For, yeah, half for, marathon. For half marathon. This will be. Is the first one? Uh, yeah, it's my yes. uh, it's my first uh, okay. half marathon. Are you excited for this? Yeah, of yes. course. Yes. Because it's, uh, I uh, I like uh, long distance. It's my uh, my first uh, half marathon. So I uh, I. Um, uh, then we have to ask. Yeah, I, I, I'm excited. I'm excited. Excited, yes. I'm excited. Okay, perfect. Okay. Sorry for my English. No, it's good, it's good, it's very good. Thank you so much for the talk. Yeah. Is that something that you hear something from your friends or from your colleagues? No, it's not. Yeah, it's not. Ah, yeah. C'est vrai, c'est un lecto. Il avait 1h30 aujourd'hui, donc il voulait que ce soit vite fini. Oh, I run behind you. So we were talking about how, uh, is it Valentine? He's, uh, he did a good workout the other day. Yeah, I, th I think it's a good workout, but Jimmy thinks it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> then it was a uh, 4x3k, yeah, ending like, in 8.33. No, but, he, he closed in 8.33, he started like 9.10. Yeah. But he did, uh, I think 10 days before uh, Eugene, World Champs, he did 3x3k, I think he ran 8.00, no, 8.05, 8.00. 8.04, 8.02, 8.00. So basically three times eight zero zero. What was the recovery in this? Two minutes? Yeah. Two minutes recovery. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs>
would have been the times for the first two? Sorry? What would have been the times for the first two? Uh, 256, 57, I think. Yeah. And then 600. Nice. It's, it's a tough it's, course. Yeah, it's, it's very uneven under, your f under foot. Yeah it's, yeah, it's hard to keep a rhythm. Yes, that's exactly right. I feel like we might have started a bit too quick. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. So the next one's two. You've done one, two, two, one, now two, one. Yeah. Two, one, two, one. Mais genre je peux pas se limite en une trente deux et faire une vingt huit ou une vingt neuf. Ouais, ouais bah, on fait un peu pareil, c'est dur. Hein. Allez, Tom. Ouais. C'est bon? Cinq. Ouais. K255, isn't he? Just then, the second K255. Yeah. Yeah. And this course? Yeah, this is, this is a, quite a lot slower than a flat road. <laughs> I remember last year I did like 5 by 2 k around like 605, 610, yeah. and then I ran 28 or 9 on the road okay. two weeks after. Yeah. So, if I compare with that, it's good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Are you, Mike? Two fifty. Yeah. Oh. Good job. Good Looks fun. Ah, the last lap. <laughs> 250 on this course? Yeah. That's like 238 on the road, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Something like that. Nice. It's also not totally flat. Like a bit up. 
Yes. The down bit off. I understand what Jimmy <coughs> was saying before by the other way would be harder. Yeah. Maybe because you, you have the uphill at the exactly. towards the end. Exactly. Yes. Une 27 premier 500. Uh, we drew the first uh, 500. Yeah. Minute 27. Yeah. Yeah. 123. Nice. Very, very nice. As you can see, it's not always the fastest guys in the races. We run the fastest in the training. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> very, very promising signs for the 15k, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because yeah. this is like. At 1500 meters, it's not. Uh, it's maybe a little bit slower than sea level for sure. Yeah. yeah, but I I really feel like when I drive down from 1800 to 1500, yeah. I still feel my breathing so much yes. because you don't get as much oxygen here as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've always struggled with that. Even uh, like Kiavena, it's like the place from somewhere where you do trek. If I would drive down there, I would get nauseous and I would feel just the height difference. Yeah. So. Ça va? You know, you know what's the problem with Jimmy? He just had three weeks off. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It's funny with him. You can train like this. You run uh, a few meters in front of him, but then in two weeks he's uh, yes. Doesn't twenty-seven thirty. Doesn't take very long. Yes. He's so How did you? You find it okay? It was good. I know it's like maybe a few weeks back for you only. Is that yeah, right? we've we've only been back in training maybe three or four weeks. Yes. No, five 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 weeks. Okay. Yeah, five weeks. Okay. But. Uh, <coughs> But he's been, he's been a bit tired the last days anyway. Okay. It's so difficult because I work in my apartment. Yes. Oh, you're so renovating? Yeah. Yes. So it's difficult. Yes, okay. You, you have an apartment in, uh, in Fontremo, in the, <coughs> in the town? Yeah. Yes, very nice. The altitude there is 1,800 and something? Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Yes. yes. Yeah, for Roma is my best, uh, be best uh, place. Yes. Be. Yeah. Do you like uh, St. Moritz? Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't know so much. Oh, you haven't been there. No. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Just um, yeah. Flagstaff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. It's nice uh, there. Huh? Yeah. It's nice. Yes. Uh, Iten. Yes. Uh, Pochestrom. Yes. So just uh, <coughs> just this place. Yes. But I guess it's not so far to come from your home to here. Uh, what? If you come from your home in uh, in France, from, it's, from not, ah, uh, it's not. so far. Ah. No, Eight hours, I think. Oh, okay. Still yeah, eight good. hours. Yeah, in Boulogne, uh, ten, uh, ten hours. Okay, okay. He's from the northwest of France, so it's actually the other side. Ah, <laughs> okay. Across the okay. whole of France. Yeah. Uh, okay, I understand. Okay. Just to take off uh, 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 <coughs> England. Yes. Just take, uh, take okay. off. Okay, okay. For me, it was longer. Oh. I drove 13 hours to come here. Yeah, that's longer than it takes to me from, from London. But it's funny. <laughs> it's funny because from his... Uh, from his house in Boulogne to Paris is the same distance as from my house to Paris. Oh, yeah, okay. But I'm, I'm like two countries further. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so a little uh, summary of the, of the workout. You mentioned you've done this before earlier this year. Yeah, yeah. pretty similar, like two case and one case. Yeah. But then I was murdered by Jimmy. Oh, last, last time. The last time, yeah. Yes. It was like a, a week before he went to Soto 2740. And if I remember correctly, we did 3 by 2 k and he ran in like 5.50s, so like 10 seconds faster than we did today. Yeah. And then on the road, uh, two more, and I think he averaged like 2.45 per k and 2.40 per k. A bit downhill though. Yeah, okay. And this was uh, okay. what, yeah, earlier in the year? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm usually working with. Yeah, yeah. That was uh, <laughs> a bit easier for me. <laughs> yeah.